My name is Solomon Giorgio. That is my real name. It's a very beautiful name for a very beautiful man. <laughs> my last name, Giorgio, is Italian. I am Ethiopian. <laughs> Some people wonder, how does an African get a European last name? Well, <laughs> it's a lot like a fairy tale. Except in this fairy tale, there happens to be an Italian army occupation, a brutal civil war, a few decades of famine, and no happy endings. <laughs> but my first name... <laughs> but my first name, Solomon, is actually a very old biblical name. It's uh, given to me by my uncle, Mufasa Rigatoni, so... <laughs> hey, Gumba, <goodbye>, hey? <laughs> uh. Um, should let you guys know that I am uh, openly gay. Uh, well, most of the time. I just took a break from Martin Luther King Day. You know? <laughs> Sometimes you just want to be black and nothing else, you know? <laughs> Uh, I also, uh, I work at a fine dining restaurant because I'm a uh, well-spoken ethnic homosexual. <laughs> Very hot trend these days, you know. <laughs> um, and it's a little painful for me because I am an immigrant from a third world country and I have to deal with foodie, people who call themselves foodies uh, all the time and God does not strike them dead on the spot. <laughs> I recently had this woman snap at me and when I came up to her, she goes, excuse me, <laughs> do you have any Himalayan sea salt? <laughs> Took all my restraint not to lean into her and go, my mother once had to eat her cat when she was nine. <laughs> <laughs> of course we have Himalayan sea salt. Are you kidding me? Oh. Goes so well with Ethiopian cat. <laughs> I recently watched the uh, Disney animated feature Pocahontas uh, because I'm a grown man and no one can stop me from doing whatever I want. <laughs> However, I feel that movie should come with a written apology. Uh, firstly, the Native Americans as a people have suffered the worst genocide in human history. Some may say, hey Solomon, what about the Holocaust? and I wouldn't take that away from anyone. The Holocaust was a terrible, terrible tragedy. However, I have seen 10 or more Jewish people in the same room. <laughs> I haven't seen 10 Native Americans in my life. We used to live right her. Uh, um, secondly, uh, Pocahontas was a real person in this nation's history. She looked nothing like the Disney character uh, because she was hella busy being 12. <laughs> she was sold to John Smith and his men, suffered years of sexual assault, witnessed the death of most of her tribe, and then shipped off to England to die a young death due to smallpox. Now, Someone at the Disney Corporation caught wind of this tale. <laughs> and they thought, hey, how do we make this family friendly? <laughs> I got it. Get rid of that part where white people look bad because that is just gross. <laughs> then we'll throw in some singing, some dancing, and a raccoon, huh? <laughs> I apologize, the only impersonation I can do is a blacker voice. Um, <laughs> but what other movies do they have? This one is about a young African princess named Sally, who falls in love with a young man named Thomas Jefferson. Stay on board. <laughs> they get married, and she helps him write the Declaration of Independence. Huh? With help from a friend, Roscoe, the singing fried chicken. <laughs> and Uncle Tom, the dancing watermelon. Name of the movie, Zero Years a Slave. 